Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where things are looking very, very good right now here at Cupboard Zoo. We've got plenty of rabbits over here, we've got quite a few geese, one of whom is hissing at us, as geese will tend to do. Hello hissing goose. Down here we have a pig who's hiding behind a trampoline, hello hiding pig. We've got some capybara, we've got quite a few snakes over there. We have a wonderful area down here where people can buy overpriced food and drink and merchandise. And then down here we've got quite a few wind turbines that do look slightly dangerous close together but they haven't exploded quite yet so I'm sure it's all going to be fine so it's all looking very very good however I think we need to work on this bit down here where the overpriced food and drink and merchandise is because it's not really kind of in the right place anymore when we did only have one square to build on this was perfect but now we've kind of expanded over here this is a little bit isolated the only way in to get your wonderful overpriced food and drink and merchandise is via this little path here so i kind of feel like we need to open this up a bit and maybe make a bit of a feature of this maybe we could have like a little kind of plaza area where we could have kind of all of these buildings kind of lined up across here and then we could just make this look very pretty with lots of benches and features and flowers and trees and things i think that might be quite nice so let's start by working on this i think so I think, yeah, we're going to need to move everything kind of out of the way. So let's get that bin. Do you know what we could do? Hang on. What we'll do is we'll put that bin just there. And then we'll move the kind of drinks place to just there. And then how about we move the food place so it's next door to the drinks place. So you can queue up and get some food and then nip next door to get some drink. And then whilst you're in those queues, you could then look over and you know, have an eye of the potential merchandise you could buy. And then maybe at the end here, maybe we'll have a little bit of a gap. So it's not right next door to the merchandising place. We'll have a little gap and then we can have the loos over there. Okay, right. So that's you know, all our stuff in a nice line. And then, yeah, we need to figure out what we're doing with the paths and such like down here. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. Did we not? A research hub. Where are they? We're little fountains. Is that it? Mini fountains. Yes, that is exactly what we want. Can we have some mini fountains, please, for four research points? Okay, so we're down to 10 research points. And what do we invest those in? um how about yeah we had flowers didn't we yeah flowers let's get some flowers and that will make our little kind of plaza area all very nice indeed okay so we'll have some flowers thank you very much now what has that unlocked hang on what did the fountain unlock that unlocked some lamp posts okay that's they're okay not overly brilliant but right you are and an electricity siphon okay by illegally running power lines from the street lamps hang on this is a dodgy thing i don't want a dodgy thing morality requirement ah okay we're not bad enough. We don't have enough sort of negative morality points to actually build an electricity siphon. We're too nice and virtuous. Okay, no, that, that's good. That's good. We're not going to unlock that. And then what do we get from the flowers? Surveillance. Okay, that sounds quite good. So we can make sure that people are, you know, committing crimes and such like. And then we've unlocked a pretzel shop. I know we haven't unlocked a cook. We haven't unlocked it quite yet. We need one more point to actually unlock it. But yeah, we've got access potentially to a pretzel shop in the very near future. Oh, that's very exciting. That's another food option. That's some more lovely food opportunities going into the zoo. I think we save up. I think we save up and get ourselves a pretzel shop. I mean, there's probably loads of the useful things. You know, animal shelters and various of the bits and bobs. But we can have pretzels. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll save up our research point. I mean, what time is it? It's 2... It's 2.20 a.m. Is it 2.20 a.m.? It looks very bright for 2.20 a.m. Okay, <laughs> the moon must be very close. Um... Okay, right, so let's work on this then. And now we can put mini fountains in, which is going to be very good indeed. Right, let's start moving things around though. Let's just move some things out of the way for now, and then we'll put them back into position. So let's just move these around for now. There we go, let's pop them over there. The game is paused. Oh, and I have um, I have done some key rebinding. So Spacebar is now paused. Hooray, which is always very good news. So there we go. I've reconfigured you game. So Spacebar is now paused. Good job. And now... Yeah, let's make a little kind of feature of this bit down here. And then maybe that could just carry on. Maybe our sort of bit down here could just be where all the merchandise goes. And we just have a great big long kind of walkway here. I mean, if we could have like some water in the middle, that would look very nice as well. We could just fill it with fountains, I suppose. Right, here we go. So let's get ourselves some path. So wooden planks, they can come down like that because then people can look over into the capybara kind of enclosure and go, oh, look, capybara. So that's good. And then I think, yeah, we'll have that going across like that as well. So people can look all around the capybaras because that would make sense. And then how about we have a line of things here, a line of things. That, how about, yeah, hang on, hang on. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Right, pick that up, move that to just there. 
So there we go. And then this can be the kind of middle walkway area, possibly. Here we go. I'm trying to design something. I'm not very good at this, everybody. Right, so we'll have a kind of middle bit like that that just goes all the way along like so. And that bit can come down like that. And then get us some grass, please. So that can go into there. And then we'll fill this up with, I don't know, nice things. How about another one of those, actually? Another lamp might do the job quite nicely. So pop another lamp across that end. There we go. And then we can put flowers in here because we've unlocked flowers, haven't we? Nature. Okay, hang on. We unlock loads of flowers. What did we unlock? Potted irises. Hang on, did we not unlock loads of wonderful flowers? Potted bonsai planters. St. John's wort. Okay, we'll have a couple of St. John's warts because why wouldn't we? Um, and then we'll have, I don't know, some ferns possibly because that looks quite nice. And then we'll go for some potted irises. And then the middle here... What can we put in the middle just there? What's going to look nice? Um, tulips. There we go. A nice sort of colourful, colourful range of kind of flowers there. And then, where are the mini fountains? Hang on, are they under decoration? Yes. So I assume they're one square. Yeah. Okay, this is very good. So what we could do is, we could have... I mean, how are we going to do this? It'd be nice if we could flip the camera around a bit, if I'm honest. I don't think we can rotate the camera. Um, okay, so if we just have a kind of row of those in the middle... I'd be quite happy with that. I mean, how expensive are they? 100 each. Okay, we might not be able to have quite as many as I'd have hoped. But if we just have one... Okay, let's put one there and one there. One there and one there. We'll just sort of dot a few of these along. So these are going to be... This is going to be a kind of theme like this. They can run through the middle. And then underneath these, do we want to have the wooden planks underneath? No, let's put them on the grass. And then how about we have some trees in the middle? So we can have a nice sort of fountainy kind of tree area like that. I realise we are spending quite a lot of money and we need to stop doing that quite so much. But there we go. And then we need some more. Ooh, decoration is going up. So our park rating is increasing because we're building nice things. Oh, wonderful. Okay, and then let's get some wooden planks coming down here. So this whole bit here can be sort of all planks and such like because that would make sense. So there we go. So fill that in like that. And that along that. Nope, that's that's not what I said. There we go. Wonderful. Like that can all be planks. And then, yeah, I mean, how far? We might build other stuff, like a pretzel shop, for example. So we'll leave that like that for now. But there we go. And then we have a little area over here, which we could do with filling in. But we can now put some benches down, I think. Do you know what? Let's fill that in with, with lovely sort of uh, lovely proper flooring. And then maybe over here, we could put a zoo map we rotate that round, I think. Hang on, hang on. That's it pointing down. That's it pointing to the left, I think. That's it pointing upwards. That's it to the right. Okay, so we'll put that there. So now there's a zoom map over there, which is very good. And can we get a bin, please? I mean, it is. It's going to be a penguin bin, because of course it is. We'll put another penguin bin next to that map, just to make sure that places doesn't get untidy and, you know, horrible. And then benches. I think we need to put some benches down on either side of the fountains. There we go. I quite like that. We have a bit of a space over here. Is it worth... Hang on. Hang on. Is it not worth just making this expand over a bit? So just go bop, bop, get another uh, little fountain and another one of those trees. Whichever one it was. Was it a small tree? Yeah, there we go. That looks much nicer. And decoration is increasing. This is all good. And then, yeah, just get a few benches. For people to rest their weary legs on by sitting down. Okay, there we go. And let's have let's have some garden benches. They might look quite nice. I don't think it's going to look too busy down here, is it? So why don't we sort of mix things up a bit, actually? We'll have a garden bench. So I have three of those. Um, I can't seem to place that there. Is it not allowing me to place it there? Um, hang on, we've got two there. So it should be like that, but I can't place one there for some reason. Um, oh, is it too near to these things? It's too near to these. Botherations. Okay, right, we've made this complicated. <laughs> Never mind. Um, how about we put some benches across here? That's quite a good idea. And then in the middle, we shall have... Where is it again? Amenities. A couple of penguin bins, because why not? So there we go. And then maybe the benches down here go on the other side. So you don't sort of, you know, sit down and watch everyone queuing up. You sit and watch the zoo. Yeah, OK, that makes much more sense. We'll rotate that round, pick that up and rotate it round. There we go. 
And that will do for now, because I kind of feel like we've spent an awful lot of money on various bits and bobs. Okay, good. There we go. Splendid. I think it's looking very nice. Right, we have got some more goals, of course. We have got some goals. Um, I mean, subways. We could possibly build a subway up here and then a subway over in this corner, but there's no kind of reason to have subways really right now. I know this person who gave us the task is really keen on subways because they hate the sunlight. I mean, it's 2.20am, come to the zoo right now. Um, I think, I think now the zoo is getting bigger, we could possibly do with another janitor. And one of our goals is to get, you know, discover three types of janitor. So maybe we could look at that. Where did we get a janitor from? Was it from down here? Hang on, park staff. Um, how do we do this? How do we, how do we... Uh, hire a person. I'm just, I swear it was in here before, wasn't it? Was it not in there? I don't... It couldn't have been because we've now not got an option to you know, hire anybody. Is it the office? Um, no. How did we hire a janitor before? Was it clicking on this? It wasn't clicking on that because that gets us... Or maybe it's because the hour's too late or something. Hang on. Do we need to open up? Do we need to begin... Hang on, I've pressed space, but hang on a minute. Yeah, space bar isn't unpaused. Must remember that. There we go. You have an animal in your zoo that you can trade with another zoo. Okay, right. We have a snake that we can now trade with another zoo. Okay, hang on a second. That is worth investigating. Um, which zoo is it? Hang on. Do we have a pig? Is there a pig that we can put in with our existing pig? Uh, no, there is not. We've got things that we already have. Okay, never mind. And then over here, right. What are they after then? A snake for two hyenas. Hyenas aren't as popular here as we'd hoped, which is why we are trying to find a new home for ours. People here think they look a bit too much like dingoes. Okay, but they have a habitat that we have not unlocked quite yet. Yeah, we don't have that habitat, whatever that is. I'm not quite sure what habitat that is. Yeah, but we don't have it. I am pretty confident. Hang on. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, there's, what, five more that we haven't unlocked. Okay. Do we need to forego the... Um, forego the wonderful pretzel shop and try and get a new enclosure type thing. Um, oh, that makes things very complicated. Okay, hang on a minute. I don't quite know how that's helping. I'd like some enclosures, please. But I'm not quite sure what you're showing me here, game. Um, okay, that's unfortunate. We can't get the, um, the hyenas in, which is a bit of a shame, really. Okay, do you know what? Pretzel shop it is then. Hooray. Maybe that will unlock some of the stuff. A water pump upgrade. Okay. That's good. And a pizza shop. Oh my goodness me. Right, this is all very good. Hang on a second. Hang on. We now need to get in the, um, what would it be? Uh, shops. There we go. We now need to get in the pretzel shop. Okay, so let's put that down here. Let's put that on the other side of the loo. So the loo can sort of be in the middle, if you like, now. There's a gap on either side. Um, Right, we need to hire a person. Let's just give them a tiny bit more money just to make them a little bit politer and better at their job. Okie doke. Right, there we go. We have a new pretzel shop, everybody. This is going very nicely. Right, and we'll have some um, we'll have some wooden planks underneath here. Thank you very much. Like that. Okay, right. That is looking very good. What are they doing? What does that icon mean? Hang on. What does that icon mean? I am really thirsty. Okay, well, here is a place that sells drinks. Right there. It's right, right there. <laughs> Please go and purchase a drink, or from these vending machines down here. That will be fine as well. What's everyone else thinking? I am really thirsty. I'm having fun, but I think I need to take a moment to powder my nose. Right here, right here. Powder your nose in this wonderful restroom down here, please. Oh, hang on a minute. There's a manage shop button. Does that mean we can manage what's going on in that particular shop? Yes, it does. Okay, this is very exciting. Okay, so we can change kind of individual shop properties, can we? So the slushy shop. Okay, we can adjust the seasoning and we can say whether we're using tap water or spring water. Okay, okay, I see. So maybe spring water is going to be a bit better because we make more profit from that because we're using spring water. Surely you'd want spring water rather than tap water, would you not? But okay, so we make more of a profit on our on our slushies if we use spring water rather than tap water. Okay, well, let's do that then. Let's do that. And then corn syrup, what exactly does that do? What does that do exactly? What is the point of this? Seasoning. So if we put 10% corn syrup in, what does that do? Corn syrup's increased sweetness offers a medium kick of energy. However, this sweeter taste can easily lead to nausea. Okay, so we don't want it too sweet. Maybe we'll just give everybody who buys a slushie a tiny, tiny little bit of corn syrup seasoning and give them a tiny energy boost. 
Okay. Right. So we can apply to all, but we've only got that one drink place right now. Oh, this is very good. Okay. Uh, no, that's a shopkeeper. I want to click on the building, please. There we go. So the hot dog shop. So now we can put <laughs> we can put MSG on things. Okay. <laughs> Hooray. Okay. Do you know what? Let's put a little sprinkling of MSG onto things. Um, and what are our hot dogs made of? Prime meat or eyes and tails? Uh, <laughs> are you sure we want? No, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. We can't make, we can't make our stuff out of, oh no, it's that way. I see we have to slide it toward this. So, right, it's made of prime meat. Oh, I've done it the wrong way around with the, with the tap water thing. I've made it more toward tap water. Okay. Yeah. So we're, this is all prime meat. Yeah. We don't want to make it out of, out of eyes and tails because that's a bit grim. Yeah, that's not good at all. The slider is a little bit befuddling, but yeah. So I think, yeah, we move the slider all the way over to prime meat. So we're going to make a profit of $1 for each hot dog we sell, but we're not, yeah, we're not making the hot dogs <laughs> out of eyes and tails and whatever else, nostrils and other bits and bobs of animals. We'll put the price up to $5 for a hot dog. They're very, very nice. Hang on, go back to the slushy place. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, spring water, please. We're making a loss. Oh dear. Okay. Maybe we'll just put like that, look, like that. And we'll up the price a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. So we make $1 for each drink. That's fine. Um, merchandise, how is this going to work? You can maximize profits by farming your own ingredients for this product. Use the recycling center to produce plastic. Oh, okay. Okay. So if we wanted to make these out of enamel, which is probably a bit better for the environment, maybe. Oh, we're selling magnets, look, little kind of lion magnets. That's very nice, even though we have no lions. <laughs> okay, um, okay, let's notch that up to four then. So $4, so we make a bit of a profit on that, which is not too bad. I assume they don't have any kind of properties on those. Uh, okay, then manage the pretzel place. Okay, so we've got salt. Okay, so I assume that makes people thirstier so that they're gonna go and get a drink. Okay, eating too much salt without having anything to drink will lead to nausea. Okay, let's add a dash of salt because salt makes things just lovely, but you know, not too much, but a little bit. So there we go, 5%, a sprinkling, a little sort of gentle dusting of salt. And then the recipe mix is, it what? Monkey milk. <laughs> uh, really? I, okay, hang on a second, hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what do you mean monkey milk? I think we need to make these all out of cow milk because that's, I, I, I get cow milk, please. <laughs> we need monkey milk. That can't be a thing, can it? Okay, hang on a minute. We're going to put these up to six and make a profit. Oh my goodness me, monkey milk. No, we're not doing that. No, it can't be made out of monkey milk. We'll go for regular cow's milk, please, because monkey milk is a thing that I am unfamiliar with and I feel more comfortable with it being you know, regular cow's milk. Okay, there we go. There we go. I did not know you could do any of that kind of stuff. That is very good indeed. Okay, right. So unpause the game again. Let's get time ticking on. Right. We need quite a lot of research points then to try and unlock that particular enclosure thing so we can get ourselves these hyenas. That'd be really good if we could. But yeah, we've not got that habitat quite yet, which is a bit of a shame. Okay. Just checking in with the nursery and it looks like, yeah, what's going on here? Why is that paused? Status pause. Ah, and hang on. Right. The two capybaras are uh, there due to, you know, the stork is going to deliver a baby capybara any time now, which is very good. However, why is that paused? Why are we paused there? I'm not entirely sure why that stopped. Um, maybe, maybe they're just, I don't know, maybe there's just a gap between their sort of attempts, if you like. Hang on, so here we go. So now do we have, do we have a baby, a baby capybara now? I don't quite know what I'm looking at here. We've got a new thing just there. Um, is it telling us what we've got though? So we've had, what's that? One pregnancy attempt and one birth. Okay, so we have had a birth. So we do have a baby capybara, which is nice. So we've got a baby rabbit. Yes, one out of one, one attempt, one birth. Okay, that's very, very good. The only thing is, yeah, what do we do with them now? Do we just leave them in there for a bit? I'm, I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna work. We do have a thing up here for three animals, birth, the nursery, and Nursery. Okay, so the nursery is kind of attracting some attention up here with the alerts. Okay, yep, that's absolutely fine. That's all good stuff. Right, however, again, we're looking at janitors, weren't we? So let's go back down to here. Right, so park staff. Um, yeah, I, I can't quite remember how we hired the people before. We want a janitor. Hang on. Oh, not searching. Do we have to click on the employee type? And then go into here. 
No, not that either. Salary, bonus, fire. Let's give them a bonus, shall we? Let's give you a bonus. Can we give you a bonus? Let's give you a 50, uh, $54 bonus. There you go. You enjoy. Hooray! Hopefully that will make them a little bit happier. That will be very good. Um, yeah, in terms of hiring more janitors, though, I can't quite recall how we did that. Where was that? Oh, of course it's up here, isn't it? There's a tiny, tiny button up here, and there we go. That's what we need. Uh, right, okay, so we did spend quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of money on that day, faffing about with, you know, pretzel shops and fountains and such like. So we did spend a bit of money. However, we attracted 81 people to the park. 12 people felt, uh, felt the ticket price was too expensive, and 69 people entered the zoo. So 12 people got on the bus to come here, and then looked and went, that's a bit expensive. I'm, I'm not going in. I'm just going to go back home again. Okay. I mean, I thought you might have checked the price first, but okie doke. Right. Wonderful stuff. Oh, crikey. A new thing. Galinda. Ah, hello, Galinda the Good Witch. Animal shelter manager. So new task. Pause for thought. I run a local animal shelter. I would really appreciate it if you could sponsor us with a donation of $5,000. I can see we're doing fairly well. Yeah, not that well, Glinda. And any help you can give back to the community is very much appreciated. Okay, we can't do that right now. I would love to help out because that's kind of what we want to do. We want to you know, help out the community and such like. But um, yeah, that's not going to work. There is a new animal variant available in the shelter today. Okay, so we have ourselves a kind of, what's that? Like a grey capybara type thing. Okay, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. We're going to go and hire a new person. So janitor. There we go. Right. So uh, recruit. Let's switch that to open. Let's use the job portal. Turn off social media. There we go. Right. Apply changes. And now we'll see if we can get ourselves three different types of janitor. And we might need to keep the three on board because there is a bit of litter kind of appearing. We do have a few sort of untidy areas around the park. So yeah, I think we'll find three janitors. We've got one on board now. So we'll find another two, hopefully of different types, whatever that means. And then, um, and then yes, we'll get those three on board and they can keep the place all lovely and clean and tidy. Okay, so shall we rescue this grey capybara because it's a new type and we might as well. Do you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's purchase that. And is that a new type of goose as well? Do you know what? We'll grab that as well. There we go. Right, so we want to deliver the capybara to there and the goose to over... Uh, can we untick the capybara? No, there we go. The goose to over there. So that makes perfect sense. We have got quite a lot of rabbits in here. I mean, can we do something with these? Hang on, pause time for a second. Can we do something with these? Oh, okay. Ah, we've got we've got a decent amount of animals. 60 animals in the zoo. Um, and now we've been given 500 money. So have we got 60 animals in here? Oh my goodness me. They must be mostly made up of rabbits. We haven't got 60 animals, have we? Have we really? That's quite a lot. How many are in the... <laughs> How many are down here in the nursery? My goodness me. Um, okay, okay. No, that that's good news. That's all very exciting. I'm, I'm quite surprised. I think maybe some of the rabbits might need to go away now because there's quite a lot of rabbits in a relatively small kind of place. Um, yeah, they're going to be going through a lot of food. In fact, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Check the food, check the food. Ah, yes, yeah, some people said that we didn't do the food for the capybaras. And you are completely right, people in the comments. Well done. Yeah, we didn't do that. Okay, so hang on. Bring the straw down, because that's a little bit kind of boring. So down to 65. Right, what can we get that gives them some good nutrition? So grain. Okay, that looks pretty good. Water plants. There we go. That gives quite a bit. And poop. <laughs> hang on, what? They don't eat poop, do they? Ah, oh, okay, I'll put... I'll cut. That feels inherently wrong. That doesn't do anything, but it satiates them, though. Fills them up a bit. You can have 5% poop. <laughs> That's grim. Um, have some more water plants. And then have some more grains. There we go. Up to 20%. That's overfed. Uh, okay, bring that down. Bring that down a little bit. 60. Put that up to 20. Satisfied. And maximum everything. Okay, right. That's very good. Um, did we do the snakes? Yeah, we did. We just missed out the capybara. Sorry, capybara friends. There we go. All sorted. Um, yeah, they have they have poop, which is all very odd. Um, but yeah, I think in here we've got loads of rabbits in here. So how about some of them can now sort of go away a bit? Um, so there is a button down here where we can donate them. So how does this work exactly? So if we donate a couple of rabbits, that'll you know make it a little bit sort of less intensive on the food. I wish we didn't order. Hang on, <laughs> uh, hang on a minute. Storeroom order the food. One hundred and ninety nine monies. Yeah, there we go. Order a load of food. Thank you very much. Right, so rabbits. So let's get rid of some of the bigger rabbits. So, uh, okay, you. 
You are nine days old. Oh, yeah, guess what do we do if we donate you, Murphy? What happens is we donate you. It costs us a bit of money. But, okay, so what if we donated Murphy and Tom? I don't know. So, Murphy and Tom. So, yeah, one, one boy rabbit, one girl rabbit. So, what if we donated those? And what do we do then? Do we get 50 back or do we pay 50? So, 2552. Donate that. Would you like to donate these animals to another zoo? A small logistical fee will be charged. Yes. Does that get our morality up ever so slightly then, possibly? So, 15.62. 17.62. Okay. So, it does as, you know, it serves as well to actually donate animals. Okay, right. That's very good. Splendid stuff. Right, I think what we need to do is we need to move time on a little bit. Because we need to save up quite a chunk of money to get this crisper slicer thing in. Uh, slicer? Splicer? The slicer's completely different. We don't want one of those. But yeah, I think we need to save up the money for that. How much was it again? Was it two grand? I suspect it might have been about two grand. Uh, one grand. Do you know what? We could get it in. We could just put that in. Let's put it in right down here near the kind of, uh, near the sort of nursery place. What we do need to do first, though, is, however, we need to get this all sorted. It's a bit of a mess down here. We've kind of let this bit down here look a little bit kind of lack. So hang on a second. Let's make it look nice because we might as well. There we go. Splendid stuff. Right now, get this thing in because I am intrigued with what this is going to do. Do you know what? We'll put that there. Um, oh, crikey. Okay, Mary Alice is going to work here. Fortunately, she is quite good. Her salary is completely extortionate. Oh, my word. Okay, I mean, let's make it even more extortionate. There we go. Wow. We pay that person a lot of money. We'll put a little path going down there like that. Why not? Um, okay, we've built the thing. We've built the splicer thing, uh, Emmanuel. So finish that task. This person has a new task for us. You know what? I suspected they might have done. Hi there. Now they have the ability to build a CRISPR or a splicer, the next thing you need is mapped genomes. I will pay you if you share your research. Just collect all 10 species variants of an animal and the genome will be automatically mapped by your researchers. It doesn't matter where you get the animals from, so long as you get them. Map one genome by getting all 10 animal variants. Okay, so I assume... Hang on then, how do we, how do we find this out? How do we know what variants we have of certain animals? Can we look at that? No, that just zooms in. That's the enclosure status. Ah, here we go. Uh, welfare report B. Ooh, this is good. This is a good zoo. Not a great zoo. Oi, the amazing name Ron Hawk. I think it's a great zoo. You can clear off. But a good zoo. Let's carry on trying to make zoos great again. Some enclosures have animal waste that needs cleaning. Okay. Your animals have a reliable and accessible water source. All animals are fed. Okay, so because they're a little bit kind of grubby, we didn't get the A, we got a B. Okay, that's fine. And now we get to pick a reward. Mascots will receive 110% donations for the next 20 days. Mascots? We haven't got a park mascot. Can we hire a park mascot? Okay, well now we need to look at that. Or receive a reward of 269 monies. I mean, right now, let's take that because we haven't got a mascot. So we'll take a little kind of cash payout. Thank you very much. There we go. That's most welcome indeed. Right, here we go. So, hang on, pause time for a second game. So, species info. Okay, so we have ourselves, yeah, four different types of rabbit that we've discovered. Breed more to discover this variant. And then we have another variant down there. Um, okay, that looks quite tricky to do. So, in terms of the geese, we've got three and then one down there. Okay, that's interesting. Look, so, yes, yeah, so we've got kind of three along here and then just one random one on its own. I assume we got from the, um, from the kind of uh, whatever is the the sort of breed not the breeding place this place here whatever it's called the shelter place okay right so we haven't got much in the way of geese capybaras we're gonna have even less i imagine yeah we've got one different type pig not anything really and then snakes we have got a couple of different types of snake but not loads three okay so the rabbits are looking like our best option right now the only thing is yeah how is this going to how is this going to work? Like down here, do we need to do anything down here with this? It just says paused down here, but I don't know why. Why is this paused? I don't fully understand what we need to do with this. Let's return them back to their pens because I don't quite... Hang on, production target paused. Uh, set when to stop breeding this pair. Oh, they've already done what they need to do. Oh, okay. Well, let's return them then. Would you like to return them back? Okay, and then pick a breeding pair. We'll pick some different rabbits then possibly. So how about we pick, um, oh, we haven't got one of 
those, have we? Why can't we breed? Hang on, hang on. We've got one of those big. Hang on, have we not got a big, sort of fluffy looking rabbit? No. Oh, we did have one, didn't we? We had to get rid of it. Of course we do. Did we give it away for the snakes or something? Um. Okay, okay, never mind. Right, hang on a second. Hang on. So what is over in here again? A regular rabbit or a capybara that is new, apparently. Do you know what? We'll have a new capybara. Thank you very much. Um, in it comes. Okay, right. So now, yeah, how do we, how exactly are we going to do this then? I'm not entirely sure. Right, back to here. Go to breeding, pick a breeding pair, have the rabbits. Right, we need to produce one of those. One of those looking rabbits, because then we need that to produce all the other rabbits. So how about we breed one of the white rabbits and one of the brown rabbits? Yeah, there we go. Do that, please. Confirm that. And there we go. Right, so if we manage that, yeah, there is a... 36% chance we get a brown rabbit, 36% chance of a white rabbit, and a 28% chance of that rabbit at the end, which is what we want, really. Okay, ah, here we go. Production target is times one. Okay, so if we just say do that three times, the likelihood is that we might get one of those. Okay, right. I'm sort of seeing how this is working. And then what do we do with this then? CRISPR select DNA pair clone animals. Okay, we can't do this right now because I think we have to have fully discovered the genome things for the animals. Okay, that's okay, that's fine. And we need to save up five grand as well. Oh, and the janitors, hang on. Have we got any, have we moved time on enough to actually look at this? Uh, there's four applicants. This is good. Okay, so it does say, like, discover the three types of janitor. I don't know what the three types of janitor are. What are the three types of janitor? I have no idea. I mean, this person down here looks good. Their rating is quite high. So what if we hire you? Um, yeah, how do we know what type you are? What is it? Hang on, hang on. Hello, I want to see how we're doing with the quality hiring. We want you to find the best employers. Oh, we want to find through the best employers in the country to champion to businesses everywhere. Can you demonstrate that you have hired three unique janitors? Okay. I don't quite know how we're supposed to know what the unique types of janitors are. I can see there are some people who've applied for a job. I mean, let's get Josh, because Josh seems very good. So, Josh, in you come, and we'll pump your, your price up a bit. There we go. So we'll get you. No, we don't want to close the position. So we've hired Josh, and then, I mean, do we go for, I don't know, Carl, Marner, or Lauren? They're all exactly the same. I know, Lauren's not quite as good. Um, I know, Marner, you're in the middle. Why not? Let's go down the middle. Let's give you a bit more money as well, and hire you. Okay, so I've got... Three, come out of that. So unpause, unpause time. Um, okay, hang on. So we've now got two different types of janitor. What are the different types? I don't understand. <laughs> what do you mean different types? Janitor is the same as a janitor. I don't understand what you mean by different types. It doesn't compute game. Please explain, elaborate more. Yeah, this pen over here is just full of so, so many rabbits and they're making an awful lot of mess. We might need to possibly say farewell to some of these. So here we go. Let's donate. Um, Gretchen, what does the longevity mean? Is it better if it's at the top or at the bottom? Uh, hang on. Gretchen the rabbit. Which one is that? Is that? That's you. So you're 11 days old and Mikey has... Yes, you're mature. Okay, so the further it is along, I think the older they are. Okay, right, so let's donate possibly some of the older rabbits. So, Gretchen, you can go. Maybe, can we order it by longevity? No, we can't, unfortunately. Or is it already ordered by that, maybe? Um, no, it's not, because that down there isn't right, is it? Okay, so Gretchen, Mikey, uh, maybe Tuesday the rabbit. Oh, we've got one of the rabbits. We've got, that. look, as a little tiny as Bubba. Bubba the baby rabbit is one of the ones that we wanted. Oh, that is perfect. Okay, that's very good news. Okay, so we'll get rid of... Um, I don't know. We can't get rid of a rabbit called Thumper. Let's get rid of Harry the rabbit. So we'll get rid of four rabbits, I think. So we've got Thumper, Pasha, Darwin, Tanner, Tuesday, Bubba, and the two that are in the kind of the nursery thing. So let's donate those away. So yes, please, 100 monies. But there we go. That will kind of make that a little bit easier to manage for our kind of, you know, animal sort of wardens, whatever they are. Because, yeah, that place is looking a little bit of a messler. And you are very, very slow. So come on, 
Tidy up the poop, please. There we go. Little bit of cleaning. That's no bad thing. Okay, so the end of the week has rolled around and we've paid out quite a lot of money because, of course, we pay a lot in our wages because we have quite a few people. Um, and, of course, yeah, we have a geneticist now who is currently doing completely nothing at all because we've not got the sort of a 10 animal genome thing sorted. So we're paying somebody an awful lot of money to rattle around in that fancy splicer building thing, not doing anything. I mean, yeah, that's quite a nice job if you can get it. But, um, okay, right, so income, yeah, looking good. Expenditure, however, yeah, we, oh no, we didn't spend as much this week as we did the previous week. However, we still do have a bit of a loan payment thing going on. So we need to make sure at the end of each week we've got, what, at least about two grand, I think. At least two grand. So, okay, I mean, we do make a bit of money off the power, which is very good. But yeah, we're still using quite a bit of water. Okay, that's fine. And our loan is currently $36, uh, $36. So that's not so bad. So we can pay that off next time. It's the wages that's the big thing. Okay, right, this is fine. Another new task, my goodness me. Okay, hello, David, how are you? The natural world is declining. Oh, it's... <laughs> I see. It's that, David. Well, hello, Sir David. The natural world... I won't do the voice. The natural world is declining, and it's up to us to preserve what is left and help it thrive again. People like you are in a unique position where you hold valuable, viable DNA of endangered animals. I'm not sure we do. We've got some rabbits and some geese. I don't think they're necessarily that endangered. Um, hold viable uh, DNA of endangered animals. Releasing just one animal will expand the gene pool for that species. Let's work on this together. Okay, so now the game wants us to get a release hub. Okay, so hang on. Let's pin that as well. We've got so many missions going on. We have seven research points. Can we get the release hub? It's 13. 13 points to get that. And we need 40 sort of lovely, happy morality points to actually build that thing in the first place, which we are nowhere near doing. How are we doing for these enclosures? I wish that was a little bit more helpful. I do wish this was slightly more helpful. Like, what? I, I'm not quite sure what this is showing us. Green is a good. We want to head to a green or blue or or yellowy. Or but I, I don't really know what that's supposed to be showing us. <laughs> it's a little bit befuddling. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know where the enclosures are. Maybe down here, possibly. What if we unlock this stone pack? Let's have a look down there. Ah, there it is. Oh, okay. Well, that was that was quite good. Um, navigational signboards and a savanna enclosure. Five research points. We have four right now. Okay, right. Save up that that research point. Get the savanna enclosure and then build that. Possibly over here, maybe. That would be quite exciting. Okay. However, I have just thought of something. What we're going to do is we're going to have ourselves um, a bit going up like this just so I don't forget that we need to possibly build paths going to the top here. So when we do expand up a bit, we can actually get people up there. Right, hello, Emmanuel. Thanks for building the CRISPR facility. Let's help each other out. We would like to use a facility to test hybrid creation. Oh, here we go. As a bonus, you get to keep whatever new species of animal you create. Please pick which animals you would like to fuse. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> so we can make either a capybara and snake hybrid uh, the, I mean, whichever, or a duck and a rabbit hybrid. <laughs> I don't know. Can I have both? I want both of these. Um, Okay, capybara and snake does sound... I mean, it sounds a little bit monstrous, but then a duck and a rabbit also sounds a little bit kind of scary. However, we don't have any ducks in the place right now, so maybe if we get a duck and a rabbit hybrid, people who like ducks might possibly come in. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go for a duck and a rabbit hybrid. Why not? Hey, let's pick that. I mean, they're both fascinating, but here we go. A mixture between a duck and a rabbit. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out. So what we'll do is we'll put that kind of down there like that. Um, yeah, and then we need to stop spending money for a little while. New experiment added to the CRISPR slicer. Animal will be ready soon. Check the building regularly. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get a mixture between a duck and a rabbit. This is all very silly and very wonderful. Okay, more animals being dropped off. So we have one of the new geese coming in, which is very nice. And we have... Oh, you have discovered five of the goose variants. You can now begin splicing it at the CRISPR slicer. Oh, five? I thought it was all of them you needed. Hang on a second. Now I'm terribly confused. Okay, that's going to take five days to get the duck-rabbit hybrid in. So select DNA pair. So does it have to be... Oh, it's got to be 50% discovered. 
Oh, okay, right, I see. And then we can put them into the splicer. Oh, okay, that's not quite so bad then. The task here is to get all of them. But if we're going to put them in the splicer, we just need 50% of them. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so I think... Hang on, hang on. Can we now... Um, oh, no, hang on. We don't want to do anything bad with this because that's that's not nice, is it? Um, how about, though, the capybaras? Oh, hang on, that's going to take, what, 30-something minutes? Are they going to be finished after that? Is that going to be it? Done for those guys? There we go. The capybaras have finished doing their stuff. So you guys return to your pen. Right, pick a breeding pair. Okay, now what do we want to do? I mean, do we go for the rabbits again? Because now we can breed that rabbit with the, so the whatever it is, the, that rabbit there. I, I don't know what type of rabbit that is. That one with the sort of brown rabbit and maybe get that new type. So yeah, let's get that going then. So there's a 37% chance we get a brown rabbit, 37% chance we get whatever that type of rabbit is, and a 26% chance that we get the new type of rabbit that we want. Okay, so confirm that, and then can we just, yeah, times, let's do times two. Let's give it a couple of goes, shall we, and see how that works. Okay, and how is the money looking? The money is coming in quite nicely indeed. We have a lot of people. It's very, very busy right now. This is very good. And I think we have another thing incoming. It's another capybara. And here we go. Right, so we now have five research points. Savannah enclosure. Thank you very much indeed. Um, oh, and that unlocks an Arctic enclosure. Oh, and an ice cream van. And some sort of storeroom boring thing. But nah, that's not exciting. Ice cream van. Uh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Food. Food, food, food. Let's go and sort the food out. Let's order some food. 180 minutes. Do you know what? Yeah, absolutely. We need food so the animals don't starve and it all gets bad. Okay. We now have a savannah enclosure. Now, where's that going to go? I do not know. Maybe this bit over here can be sort of deserty savannah land. Maybe we put it over here. Make it a bit different so people can walk up that way. So if we have it kind of coming round in a bit of a funny shape down here. That might be interesting to mix it up a bit. Can we afford it, however? I don't know how expensive they are. Cost per tile is 15. Oh, crikey. It's, okay, hang on. <laughs> we might not be able to afford my ludicrous plan here. So if we had that, say, hang on, down a bit more, like that, can, can we afford that? That's 600 monies. Yes, we can. Just. Um, oh, do you know what? Let's do it. Let's go for it, shall we? And let's put the door... I mean, I don't know. Over at the front there? Or is that going to get in the way of people? Maybe we'll put that... Oh, no. Don't mess up where the door's going to go again. 90 people. So 81 people, uh, people came in. Nine people thought it was a bit of a rip-off. Okay, it's their loss. Um, let's put the door across this side. And then, just so I remember, we'll put some, um, we'll put some path going down like that. And now we have $3.70. Okay. <laughs> right. Money is limited. So we're not going to get those animals in quite yet, because if we do, then we can't put in the various bits and bobs they need to actually, you know, they can't have water and all those important things and food and such like. So, um, yeah, let's move time on nice and quick. Get people through the doors. Hello, everybody. This is very good. Come and have some lovely drinks and snacks and things. It's all good. Go and buy yourself a lion magnet. There we go. Look, four dollars. Four dollars already. We're up to about $300. More people coming in. Some angry people as well. Um, unspent research points. We'll keep those, I think. So what's the problem now? Ticket price is uh, getting a bit grumpy. Applicants. New applicants for a job that we posted. Have we? Did we not close that down? I thought we... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we've got 11 applicants. Oh, dear. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Can we find the different type of janitor? Like, does this, does, do the little pictures help us understand the different types of janitor there are? Because I don't know how we're supposed to work out what the three types of janitor are without employing 200 janitors and hoping that we've got the right mix. Um, I don't know. Maybe another one would not be such a bad idea. Um, Blaine, down at the bottom. Let's hope you're a third different type of janitor. Uh, because I, I genuinely don't know how we're supposed to tell otherwise. So, um... Yeah, okay, in you come. Let's employ, uh, employ. let's give you a bit more money. There you go. Uh, and yes, close that position, please. Right, and now, unpause time. And they were a different type. I've no idea how we worked that out at all. But there we go, we've finished the task. And we're given a relatively paltry $250. Crikey, okay. 
Right, in comes another, another task from Captain Cola. Okay, new task, a cola a day. Hello, Captain Cola here. Hello, Captain Cola. <laughs> How are you? I have to stay in character and be happy all the time because otherwise the corporation will fire me. My goodness me. So forget koalas and get with the colas. We want wagging tails and bigger sails. My goodness me. <laughs> it sounds like a line from The Apprentice. Please maximise your cola sales. If the company hits a sales target, I will get a day off. And let me tell you, I really need one of those right now. Sell 50 cola. I don't think we have the ability to do cola right now. Let's have a look at our current tasks. So have we got some that are not kind of pinned? So subway task, so the 3,000 visitors task is uh, not pinned because that's a little way off. Um, five food shops, we've got three, so we're slowly getting there. Donate five grand, we're nowhere near that option. Um, genome thing, we're at 50%. Um, and then, okay, hang on, how do we move between these? Okay, the subway thing is on there. And what else do we have open? Uh, sell 50 cola and release one animal for Sir David over there. Um, okay, right, we're not quite ready to do any of these things right now. Um, oh no, what do you mean low water? Pen that does not have enough water. Yeah, but where? How am I supposed to find out which one it is? Oh, it's this one. This one doesn't have enough water. There are quite a lot of capybaras in that relatively small space. <laughs> and there's a lot of geese. Do we want to maybe sort of donate a couple of the older geese, maybe? I mean, Minnie the goose is quite old. Let's, should we just donate Scruffy, Meggy, Mimi and Minnie? Leaving behind Minnie, Pugsley, Tristan and Pepper. Is, is that wise? Do we want to do that? Although Minnie is one of the slightly different variants. Maybe we don't want to do that right now, because I don't know what we need to do in terms of their kind of breeding stuff. I do not know. Um, okay, hang on. Breeding-wise, how are we looking over there? They're not pregnant. And, oh, hang on. Hang on. H8 people entered the zoo. That's very good. However, uh, yeah, that rabbit there, Ember, is infertile. So there's no point. There's no point having these in here, because that's not going to work, is it? This isn't going to work at all. So we'll we'll let you have this final attempt, I think. And then maybe we'll just stop this sort of attempt here because it's not going to work because, you know, biology has happened and such. And it's all all that way around. OK, right. Um, hang on. I know. What? Wait, what? They're infertile now, but they have had a kid. The baby is nursing and we were transferred to a public enclosure in two days. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stay in there. That's wonderful. Oh, no. That's good news. That's very good news. Hooray. <laughs> okay, right. No, that's splendid news. Well done. Congratulations, nursery people and the rabbits. Do we give the capybaras another water trough thing just to make sure they don't run out? I think that might be a fun thing to do. So they've got a wooden one. Let's give them a wooden one with like sort of green stuff around it. There we go. That'll do. You can have two lots of those and hopefully that will keep you going for a while. Okay, so there you go. That's going to drop in. Okay, so hopefully... Is that now good for water? Yeah, loads of water in there. And I think, now we've got over a grand, I think we can sort this place out now and then get us some more different animal types in, which is very good. So let's get the water in. Let's have, yeah, let's have one of the wooden basins like that. So, um, oh, it's not near a water pump right now. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. We know that. So we'll have one down there and possibly, maybe we'll put one over here as well. So a couple of those. And then we need some enrichment stuff. So, of course, they need a trampoline with a star on it, because why wouldn't we want that? So, trampoline with a star on it. Thank you very much. And a ball like that. And then we need some lovely decorative stuff. So, how about we put a couple of rocks? Because you might find some rocks in the sort of savanna area. So, we'll pop a couple of rocks about the place. Um, and then what else do you find on a savanna? I don't really know. Do you find patches of grass, maybe? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, if I am completely honest. We'll put some grass. Put one bit of grass up near the water thing. Okay, hopefully that will do. Hopefully that's going to be okay for them. Oh, desert rocks. Possibly should have put some of those in. Put a desert rock like that. And a desert rock next to the trampoline. Okay, so with that done, I think... Oh, hang on. No, no, we need a water pump. Must have a water pump, right? Where are they in this big list of things? Okay, so there it is, under amenities. Right, so I think we need to put the water pump. Oh, if we put it there. I know it is going to be near enough. It's just, just going to be near enough. Unless we just pop it. I know it's going to have to go there. Because if we put it there, it doesn't have enough radius to actually cover the top 
sort of water sort of trough thing. That's very unfortunate, but we don't really want it sort of around the place in public view. It's not a nice sort of sightly thing to see. Unless we do build a couple of these. How much are they? 100 each. Let's put one at the top and let's put one right down in this corner. There we go. And then up here, we'll just put some plants. I'm sure people understand that we need to have water sort of pumps around the place to make sure the animals can have some water. And then, yeah, if we just get some lovely, some lovely uh, decorative kind of things going on. I mean, up here we could. Oh, I didn't move these back. All these things are in a stupid place. Hang on a second. <laughs> Let's move these because I didn't move these before. So we'll put that there and we'll pick up the penguin bin and put that just there because why not? And then there's a little kind of planter thing. So we'll put that there and we made some money, which is wonderful. And then move that penguin bin to just there. And there we go. A new animal variant available in the shelter, you say? Okay, I'm interested. Uh, let's go to here. If I go to the shelter, is there a pig? No, but there is a slightly different snake. Okay, let's rescue the snake. Into here you go, snakey friend. And let's go down to Australia. Let's get ourselves some, whatever they are, hyenas. Yeah, let's do that. So you can have one of those types of snake. Uh, have clover. There you go. So trade clover for two of those. Two hyenas. Okay, this is very good. And they can go into here and they're going to arrive in a day's time. This is all very good. I didn't mean to press that button at all. Um. Okay, right. Let's move time on nice and quick. And let's, I think maybe let's get to the end of the day. Let's get to the end of the day and let's get the hyenas in and that new snake variant as well. I think we might need to do some zoning to make sure that our animal keepers are actually, you know, working at their most effective and not they're particularly brilliant. But I mean, yeah, Douglas here, he's very good at his job, but he's a little bit rude whilst doing so. But um, yeah, maybe we do need to do some zoning. So I think if Douglas looks after those and the other keeper looks after those and then we hire a new keeper to look after those two bits there, that would make sense. And then we can kind of switch the zones around as we need to. Okay, so right now, zone. Set influence zone. Assign zone zero. Okay, we haven't got any zones set yet. How do we how do we go about doing zoning and such like? Uh, heat maps. Uh, oh, hang on. There's a thing down here. Tasks. Have we completed a task? Have we done one of the tasks? We've sold... Have we? We've sold 50 cola. Oh, from the vending machine. Oh, oh, okay. This is wonderful. Yes. Hooray, a hundred monies comes our way. That's very welcome and a very, very pleasant surprise. Um, uh, right, okay, how do we do zones then? I can't quite recall, game. Please tell me about how to do zoning again. Okay, so day 25 comes to a close and look at that. We made $800. That is very, very good. We had 93 people actually enter the zoo. However, 26 people turned up and thought, oh, do you know what? That's a bit expensive. I mean, do we just drop the price down by $1, say? Because that's quite a lot of people that didn't come in. Um, okay, right, hang on a second. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, hello, Ashley. Capybara love. Um, okay, I'm really grateful for your past donation, but unfortunately, I don't think the rabbit worked out. It would just start digging holes in the ground or get distracted by food. Uh, yeah, I get distracted by food all the time. So whilst we will keep on trying, I think maybe a different gentle animal would work. How about a capybara? Do you think you could donate a capybara? I think we have plenty of them to donate. Okay, um... I mean, which one do we choose? Uh, we want to give them one of the regular ones, not one of the kind of special variant ones. How about, uh, I don't know, how about Trooper? You can have Trooper. There you go, because Trooper is a Trooper. Um, yeah, okay. Donate that one, please. 600 lovely, lovely dollars. Thank you very much. Another task, my goodness me. Um, from Sandra, who says, Cowabunga. Yeah, Cowabunga, dude. Uh, pizza is... <laughs> <laughs> pizza is radical. I gotta get me some gnarly pizza. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm with you with that one. Dudes, can you get a pizza store so I can hang with your turtles and eat pizza with them? We don't have that type of turtle. We don't have any type of turtle. But if we did have turtles, they wouldn't be, you know, mutant ones of any age, teenager or otherwise. Um, okay, build the pizza shop. Well, let's pin that quest because we could potentially unlock that. And if we put a pizza shop, that completes that. And then that does. Hang on a second. Hang on. Pause Pause time. Go for a second. That will also mean that we move closer to getting the five food stores. However, ticket prices. People are getting a little bit fussy about ticket prices. So how do we do this? Um, oh, okay. Just bring it down to six then. 
Okay, let's see if that makes a difference. Let's see if that does anything across the day. Has that actually sort of, has that set itself properly? Yeah, there's not a confirm button or anything. So five people have come in so far and they've all bought a ticket. So nobody's grumpy quite yet. Um, okay, here we go. Here comes a new snake, but more excitingly, some, whatever they were, hyenas. So there's a new type of animal in the zoo. This is very good. Okay, so there they are. This is wonderful. Okay, now who is the new snake? You're the new variant. So you're Chocolate the Snake, which is a wonderful name. Hello, Chocolate. How are you? And the hyenas, what are you called? Tucker and Tara. Tara and Tucker. Okay. <laughs> they are good names. Good names. Ah, now what we need to do is we need to go over to the storage place and go to storeroom and go, yay, hyena food. Right. Okay. So meat pellets. I'm sure they're delicious, but let's hang on. Pause time game. Uh, let's bring them down a bit to say 60%. Um, you can have all oh, some lovely insects, 10%. Um, carrion. Yeah, that's kind of what I imagine they would eat. Like, you know, bones and such like. Okay, so put that up to say 20. And then eggs. Okay, I don't know, 10% of eggs. Maybe some more insects. How can we get more nutrition for you guys? Uh, well, that is looking okay. I mean, do you need more meat pellet things? I don't quite know how we can max out nutrition. It's not sort of going up anymore. Need more carrion. It's more like, you know, bones and gore and such. More eggs. Um, okay, the eggs are topping up quite nicely. There you go, satisfied. That will do the job. Yeah, okay, wonderful. Right, order all of that, please. 308 monies, ouch. Okay, there we go. All the food has been ordered. And now we've got hyenas, everybody. So go over and look at the new animals, please, because it's taken us an awful lot of effort and time and money to get these in. So yeah, please come and enjoy them. Ah, yes, of course, right. So the animals over in the nursery, these two here, they've done what they can do now. So let's return those back to their pen, which is wonderful. Right, now, can we do, I don't like snakes. Can we start doing some snake breeding? That'll be exciting. Because, yeah, there's a new type of snake there that we haven't actually unlocked yet. So that could be quite interesting. So, yeah, okay, you two. You two snakes. Go in there and, and do the stuff and write to the snake stalk. And they can bring you a, a lovely baby snake. And that's going to be very nice indeed. But there we go. Okay, so we are slowly but surely kind of getting through all of these things. Now, do we have... Do we have in here, if we go to the CRISPR thing, DNA pairs... We've still only got 40% of the rabbits sort of uncovered. Okay, never mind. We made a thousand, a thousand dollars on that day. That is very, very good indeed. Right, so hang on a minute. Pause time for a second game because, yeah, the game says at the end of each day. So what I think we'll do is we'll finish up for now because I think we have done quite a lot of stuff and we'll come back next time and just see how we get on. Because, of course, we do have the sort of whatever it was, duck rabbit hybrid thing in the CRISPR splicer thing. That's kind of, you know, brewing or whatever the words are. And we've got the new hyenas in. We probably do have some more animals that we could trade to other places around the world as well to get some more animals in. Yeah, there's plenty to do. I mean, we do have 16 research points as well. So we could start unlocking some more things, getting some more sort of enclosures or get the pizza shops in, maybe meet some more of the current goals going on. So yeah, there's plenty to do. So I think we'll finish up for now, come back next time and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, get our hands on our very first kind of weird, mad, insane hybrid animal type thing, which is going to be a mix between a duck and a rabbit, I think we chose. So that's going to be very, very interesting to see. But yeah, we'll do all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Let's Build a Zoo. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.